Welcome everyone to my channel, I am your host Mountain General reporting to you from my secret bunker and it's time that I finish one little series that I started. You have seen me play White Russia against the communist world, then fascist USA against democratic world and today prepare for communist Germany versus the fascist world. And also Christmas is coming very soon, it's November so that means literally Christmas. So don't don't forget to get yourself some t-shirts you won't be wearing in public for your own safety. Grab something from my teespring, I will also leave the link in the pinned comment. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's show, don't forget to subscribe for more shit shows like these and leave a like. And I'm sure that already all of you know the drill we are making everyone go fascist. So I already see that I will have just a lot of fun clearing up all of this mess. We just need to make a German Workers Reich. I know that sounds fucking cursed. I know that there are some German communist focus stream mods, but I want to make this as painful to me as possible. Also, not so fast, Fettolini. I'm just sending some volunteers to Ethiopia to mess some shit up. Ah, uh, isn't this something just... Erwin Rommel helping the Ethiopians against the Italians. Just an interesting day in Ethiopia if you ask me. Ah, uh, isn't it something? This was Hitler's plan to remilitarize the Rhineland and then hire a communist revolutionary into the government. Well, shit, I didn't think about this, but the Ethiopians switched sides and now I'm helping the fascist Ethiopians. Womp womp. Ooh, don't mind me some oil, but I will refuse because it will only help the fascists. Oh no, the black shits are organizing in the UK, what will happen next? Now this is for the first time in my life as Germany sending volunteers to the Republican Spain. Also our ideological pie chart looks like a Czechoslovakian flag if somebody wiped their ass with the white part. Hey, a little more communism, never killed anyone. Uh, this has to be the most awkward meet and greet in Valencia. The Norwegian fascists require our help. My comrade in Christ, we are almost communist ourselves, so fuck off. World is slowly turning mad. Fascism is on the rise in the Europe and everywhere in the world, as you can see. And after this little event, we need to wait a bit. And boom, we are now a proper communist nation. And as you can see, we have all of our generals. And now I think they are communist as we are. You see, we have communist Manstein, Guderia, we have communist Rommel and we have even communist Hitler. And I just really like how we just switched and nobody asks any questions. The German people are like, we are now communists, I guess. And now, as communist nation, we need to use fascist plans to defeat the fascism. That's the only logical conclusion I can draw here. You see, this is totally not Anschluss. We are just protecting the Austrians from falling into fascism. Yes. I don't see no Reich in here but okay. Now let's mess up Central Europe and try to manipulate the politics here to our liking. Now here is one big conflict for ya, the whites versus the commies. Yes comrade Stalin I'm on my way to support your losing side. Our brave red volunteers will be led by Rommel to victory and this generic guy. Hey this is quite good because Denmark will take care of these fascists for me so thank you very much. Oh no, I see that Czechoslovakia is falling for fascism, so we need to ask for Sudetenland to protect our German people. Hey, don't mind me getting a little cut of that Inca gold. Now we need to move fast, the Italians are up to something with this bearded man. Oh shit, the Czechoslovakians said no, but I still can do fate of Czechoslovakia, so we are safe. But just in case, I will just get ready to fuck some shit up. I'm sorry Spain, but this shit is too good. Now this is how you do it. You just create Bigolovakia out of Czechoslovakia. Now my only mission is to save the Republican Spain somehow and also get more territory, thank you very much. Let me mess up their shit even more. You know, I don't understand myself, I'm feeling this conflict in Spain that is clearly lost, but okay. And now we have to secure that Yugoslavia won't be fascist. So yeah, welcome here, our new comrades. 
The Axis is looking pretty thick, not gonna lie. Finland had a little civil war and Estonians just annexed them, so they are now Finland, I guess. Alright, so now there is quite a lot fascist nation around us, so we need to get ready to start a world war. It's now or never, we need to liberate the good working people of Danzig and help them survive this Polish fascism shit. Unfortunately, our comrades in the Soviet Union lost their struggle against the white devils, but we will avenge Papa Stalin. Now, four big hurrahs for our volunteers to Soviet Union. This quite literally means war with Poland. I'm not sure if they are going to join the Allies or the Italian faction, so we will play this a little bit safe. And yes, they are in Allies, so we are safe. Now, we don't need to be worried that much because, yeah, we had a plenty of time to get ready for this shit show. And yes, the brave workers of Gdańsk were successfully liberated. And yeah, basically I have left Spain to die and um, sorry not sorry, fuck you. Oh, and the Dutch just joined the Axis and um, I don't want them here. Like, I don't really want them here. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you for helping me yourself. And yes, this is quite literally one struggle. Welcome Ireland to communist team. And you are probably going to die, oh fuck. And now even the USA will have its own struggle against the fascism with this generic Simon Clayton leading the democracy. Why is there a generic guy? Um, I'm sorry Mexico, this seems kinda random, but nah, you are going kinda brown there, little buddy. Oh shit, I didn't cause this, but Commune of France just rose up against the nationalist France. This is quite epic if you ask me. And I just got a little war goal against nationalist France, but I will let them fight it out. Or not. Fuck you and you welcome. We are now at full war with very strange allies and we were even able to go through Maginot line. But still, Benilux won't be able to escape their fate. So yes, yeah, sorry, not sorry actually. Yeah, this is just too fucking painful. Uh, just the beautiful scenery of communist nations working together. I have used French people to kill French people. I'm truly evil. Oh, I know that you want to become fascist. I won't let you do that. Operation Santa Claus Fall is at full swing. Also, I have to say this is one of the most interesting invasions of France that I have done in Vanilla in quite a while. It's just beautiful and magical. You know, I don't know how our patience is running out for Yugoslavia when they don't exist for more than like a year now. Now, here comes the hardest part. We need to secure the British Isles, but as you can see, they have a lot of fucking divisions just protecting this little island. Oh, never mind. Portsmore is undefended. Well, what was I even expecting? Everyone just go fucking in. All in. Everything or nothing. The British fascism will be defeated, no matter the fucking cost. And I would say we have rounded up all the volunteers pretty nicely. We only have to close few pockets, organize this mess of an invasion, and we will have worse brought in London in no time. I hereby I sentence this communist waste to death in my little German gulags. Now thank you for contributing to this encirclement. And this is beautiful, we have just defeated fascist allies everyone. Now I have agreed with the French on how the world will be divided between us and I think this is the new communist world order shaping right there. And right now we need to get ready to face some fascist nations that want to kill us. And well, the Italians have done it. They have declared war on me and also Greece is now just my puppet because fate of Greece works apparently. Anyway, it's not very wise to keep your fronts well um, empty and especially with Germany. This ain't gonna end well for the Italians unfortunately. Also Denmark like banned the fucking fascism like come on man. Oh and this is very cute. Lithuanians just want to die. Oh yes and this is very beautiful because we can defeat all of our Baltic enemies at once. 
It won't be easy, but this is a good wall against all of the fascists that are left in Europe. Now even Mr. Salazar is a proud communist. And yes, why the hell not, everyone can join. It is fun to beat up the Italians after all. You see, it's that easy. Hey, would you look at that, the Italian army is just non-existent. Yeah, maybe they have retreated some of their troops from the colonies, but it won't cover it. Like really. Rome is ours, literally over for the Italian fascist ambitions. You see, I'm such a good guy, I'm turning everyone to the red ideology of communism so easily, man. Like it's not even a competition, like not really anywhere. Everywhere where we go, it's just fun and just like that, the whole fascist bloc just fell in Europe. Now behold, the perfect communist Europe right before your very eyes with communist pope Ugo Farra. Yeah, I might have broken the fucking reality with this one, but anyway, another fascist pig we need to take down. A fucking Swiss thing they are safe in their bunkers, but not for long. Yeah, you know, Sweden wants the transit rights, but I have one question. What is Josef Tiso doing here? Like, hello? Oh no, the Hungarians have fucked up, they forgot that I am the guardian of a little nation called Slovakia. Everyone will have a field day in this Budapest city. Even the Slovak cavalry captured it first. I just have to say, beautiful, as fucking always. I just have them have fun, our little socialist brother. Hey Salazar, I really appreciate your initiative, but I have already shipped my whole fucking army to America. It's nice of you, but um, next time maybe chill a little bit. And don't mind me improving the national spirit with this little symbol. Yes, uh, sweet Madrid, it feels like I was just here yesterday. And now look, the Spanish people are now the good guys again. Now the Bulgarians will pay for their arrogance to threaten me or the world revolution. We ain't having shit like that. Sorry, not sorry. And my little Czechoslovakia wants me to declare war on Poland, but um, no thanks, I already have them. Low on manpower, just switch the law and reintegrate some territories that belong to your good trusted allies, they won't get mad, I guarantee you that shit. For my communist revolution to work, we need some oil and I also want to take out America, so two things done at once. Oh yeah, we are going to America, boys. Like, this shit should be easy. At least I hope so. Oh yeah, this will be good. When Florida, the penis of America, is already yours, you have won the war. Oil in Venezuela is slowly getting secured, Mexico is broken and, well, just look at the United States of America and judge for yourself. Uh, they can't just defeat me with 68 divisions. Anyway, let's start a two-front intercontinental war, shall we? I have to ask you, have you ever seen a more beautiful German invasion of United States of America? I bet you have never seen anything better. Oh nice, Russia is trying to reunify, so I will wait until they take these bits so we can even conquer more. I would say this is the most beautiful event you get when you are in America. It just feels so satisfying as nothing else. Also, can't have scheisse in Detroit, the Germans are here now. Amero bros, this is just so over for you. Like it's not even funny. Yeah, what did I tell you? The fun times. Now, with all of these beautiful resources secured, we will turn ourselves to Europe very soon. First things first, we need to secure the Swedish border and they created a faction with the countries Russia was at war with, so um, we just want to mop up all of this mess before we turn ourselves to Moscow. Now also this scary Canadian motherfucker won't be hunting my dreams anymore. And well shit, now we are at war with the Japanese apparently. This is not what I have been counting on, but whatever. The one who wants to go to Japan has to go for Russia, I guess. So yeah, this will be just a lot of fun. Oh shit, oh fuck, look at this. Our Mongolian brothers and Tanutuvians are joining the fight. They will most likely die, but uh, go comrades, go. 
And you know, conquering Canada isn't that bad, you just need to wipe out like 4 or 5 bigger settlements and the whole country is basically yours, like nobody lives in here. You know, I got a feeling when I already conquered most of the world, this will be easy. And the Russian army isn't even like really present here. Also, go, go, Tanutuva. And what the fuck? South Africa, why? Why, mustache bro? Now this is a proper world war if I can say so myself. You know, you do a little pocket and pocket those pockets kids and kill some people and everything is just good not for them though for us we are doing very good like this is a total german socialist victory coming to your commune very soon you know we are the good germans and don't mind this we are not following it wink wink like we need to save the birthplace of the soviet union from the grasp of the bad smelly fascist russian empire this is just unbelievable mongolia capitulated but the tanatuvians are just holding on and while we are going slowly for russia why not to conquer romania for some extra lands i know this is kinda mean oh no the fascists are rising up again but good thing is that i have all my enslaved Enslaved Lithuanians at hand. Now we have a competition with the fascists of who will starve first, and it seems like that it will be a draw. And what the fuck, Turkey? I try to be your friend and you betray me. You will fucking die. So one collaboration government later, and we need Tsarisin to finish the Soviet Union, I mean Russian Empire. I'm already losing my mind here. Now oh, this is the true fucking blitzkrieg going through Manchuria. And the Japanese are facing everyone from every side, they are fucked. Funny Australian hitman, these are your last times on the planet Earth. Yeah, nobody will be fucking spared from my German socialist rage. Now why not to make our situation even worse and possibly getting Peru into major nations so we will have to capitulate this fucking mountain of a country. I feel like this is the worst beating that Japan ever got, they only have 19 divisions, so invading in here will be very easy. Unbelievable, the Japanese have already given up on their lives. Now we have came into Hirohito's house and just ate the emperor himself because we are starving starving for fucking victory also hitler apparently escaped to dominican republic but we will get him in santo domingo now my worst fears were realized when peru became a major nation so we need to have a little diversion in brazil so invading peru will be easier Mao, just why? Why are you feeling so suicidal? You know that China is my ally and I have to help them. But at least I have a new friend. Mao is now Team Germany. And now that I have baited out the Peruvians to meet me in the Amazon jungles, I will have my best Red General Mr. Erwin Rommel do the deed and destroy their entire coast. Like it's crazy where Rommel's divisions were. Like just take a look and pause it for yourself. Self. Ah, you got to love a nice naval invasion. You know, they have like zero chances against me. You know that. And one last naval invasion in a war that will for sure end all wars, right? If you can't tell, I really love doing naval invasions, the funniest thing in Hoi 4. And especially I love conquering Brazil for no apparent reason. I just love this big jungle of a country. Now rejoice my comrades because there is no fascism left in this fucking world. Our enemies got butchered immensely and this is now Northern Ireland by the way. Now Chiang shek Salazar and this Irish dude are honorary communists. The world was starving for communist revolution and now it's just starving. And hey, if the Germans can't make communism work, then nobody can. Oh wait. Also Trotsky, get the fuck out of here with your fourth international BS. We already conquered every fucking thing. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description. And a special thanks goes to Razonon, that one dude and Henning for being the highest channel members.